hello welcome to another weekly vlog if you are new here my name is Lydia if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so I just ended last week's vlog off like two seconds ago um, so it is New Year's Eve Sunday New Year's Eve um, and we are having family and friends over for like snacks fireworks we're gonna eat dinner um, so we wanted to start a whole new vlog for this week we go back to work on Tuesday um, we've been off for a week a week and a half now so about to get back to it um, project is over so back to normal old regular hours um, I am cooking some like warming up some hibachi that we had for my mom's birthday for lunch um, and then let me show you what I've gotten into today so um, there we go I'm working on my New Year's resolutions um, as cheesy as that sounds um, and so I wanted to get my sourdough out and livened up so um it has been sitting on the counter in two different containers um for the last couple of days and i've been feeding it and so i moved it back into its big jar and um cleaned it out fed it um and so hopefully i can make some bread tomorrow or some goodies i need to make some tea um and i'm going to sit down when i have lunch in just a minute and kind of look through this sourdough book um maybe find some good recipes um I've got for christmas i received a bunch of fun um like kitchen goodies um i also received this cookbook from my sister-in-law um so i would love to start some kind of like i don't know some kind of series where we do disney date nights once a month once yeah once a month maybe i don't know or every two weeks so there is that. I have lots of new sourdough goodies to use, little tools. So, um, that is that. And then, this is my favorite time of year, if you have watched for any amount of time. Um, it is my favorite time of year because, um, blackberries are, maybe they're not in season, but they're my favorite. Like, they're still, like, firm and sour, so... That's that. Um, this is almost finished. We're going to sit with his mom. My mother-in-law, Nancy, is supposed to come over and visit um, in a little bit. So, we're going to eat lunch. Um, Luke has cleaned the house while I went and picked up some um, different, like, finger foods. Um, so, I'm trying to let this cream cheese soften. And this sausage was, like, frozen solid. So, hopefully that will thaw throughout the day today um we're having sausage balls so sausage balls um i got some things for s'mores which is one of my favorites um that's for sausage balls we're having buffalo chicken dip um and so i got some flip sides for that and then just some like corn chips and then pigs in a blanket so i need to get that cheese put up the crescent rolls put up so i'm gonna put that's really good for it <laughs> so i'm gonna get the things that i need to put up put away lunch served and then there are a few more things and then i'll be done um so i think i may have mentioned i got a table runner for our new dining room table that is not here yet but i went ahead and put it out and i think it is so pretty it was 12 dollars at tj maxx which i feel it was like a steal for table runners and then here is our new drying rack um that i got and mentioned in last week's vlog in action i decided to do all of my nice hanging shirts that i don't want to dry so they are all hanging up and then we got a gate to put in between the living room and the dining room so we can kind of close parts of the house off and then we used to have the dog food bins right there and lucas moved those and fixed the whole tree so i think it looks really good in here um, slowly but surely obviously we still have to paint and we're gonna I think remove that mold that this like molding or whatever of the trim and then we've got to fill that hole take the rest of that off we're gonna sand that take the nails out so we still have a little ways to go but it feels extra cozy today to me for some reason for some reason moving that into like it was just flush up against the wall and now that it's like catty cornered I don't know something about it just feels so cozy but 
dishes in the dishwasher are clean. I need to take care of that sometime today. And then we have some um, dishes, like just literally just cups in the sink. Um, I'm just going to take you around the house and show you all of our new things, I guess. <laughs> so um, I think I mentioned these. Yes, I think I did in last week's video. Um, but I received these in... Um, our white elephant game and so we have the salt and pepper in there um and we have used those or i have used it and loved it and i'm going to show you one last thing and then i'll be done it is my gift one of my gifts um she, um, and she is every year but she did such a great job she was so generous i can't tell whatever new sweater um but she was so sweet and so generous this year and gave me a like some of the most thoughtful gifts that I've ever received. Um, but she gave me this t-shirt and we were in our little coffee shop that um, we meet up at and caused a scene, caused a ruckus because this is my t-shirt. <laughs> it says hogs and dogs. If you do not know, we have a, a Dotson penny and we ride motorcycles, my husband and I do. So hogs and dogs. And then upon further on further inspection um <laughs> Brennan had no idea that the weenie dog was flipping the bird <laughs> so that was just I was gonna say what is that so many parts of just like hilarity so can't wait to wear that um and then she printed out one of my favorite pictures from our tri our girls trip and um got me a cute mug cup just very sweet so let me go eat and i'll update you hopefully maybe when we start cooking or something like that so we are fully in the process of making food for our little get together whatever we're gonna call it for new year's eve so we have some pigs pigs in the blanket in the oven they're almost finished another batch on deck lucas is making our sausage balls in our new food processor we'll see because it's such so much stuff we'll see how well that does hopefully it does very well but it's cream cheese cheddar bay biscuit mix some sausage of choice and then as much cheese as your heart can can want i think that was out of focus the whole time um so that's what we've got going on right now. Oh, and not you. Oh, and I made some buffalo chicken dip. down some of that sausage but it's mixing right so here is everything we will be having s'mores so go ahead and set that up um obviously that will be outside around the fire and then we have pigs in a blanket some sauce for the pigs in a blanket sausage balls um buffalo chicken dip i'm gonna set half of this with the corn chips and then some flip sides, and then I like to dip mine, dip cucumbers in mine. And then I have a pot of coffee done, and I need to make tea. That was the last thing, so we are ready. I don't know when they're going to be here, but we are ready for when they do come. <laughs> We're living the life. It is 9.30. My family just left. We're making a s'more, and then we're going to ring the new year in. In bed, most likely asleep. Me one pile. Oh, that was Maybe good. Okay, nobody panic. If everybody just follows my instructions and nobody else needs to end up bald. Oscar, you want to be my partner? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'd love to. Hey, uh, Manly, five dollars here. You want to claw my ears? Okay. Oh, great! I'm so sorry. I'm. 
Hello, hello, happy Tuesday. As you just saw, we had the most relaxing New Year's Day. Um, we did nothing but sit right on the couch. Um, I don't think I even cooked anything. We had some leftover finger foods from the night before. Um, and really just hung out. We watched The Office together. The camera is struggling. We watched The Office together and really just enjoyed the last day being off together. So I am now home from work. I had a few errands for the travel agency stuff. Um, I picked up a gift card and mailed off some thank you cards. My camera is still struggling. Um, and so now... Um, I just shaped my sourdough loaf and it is doing its little rest. I'm about to move it over into my banneton basket for its second rise, which is like 30 minutes. And then I'm going to start the oven and hopefully we will have a cooled off enough um, to be done sourdough loaf for dinner tonight. Um, we have a few HelloFresh meals left over. Um, so that is what's on the agenda. I am actually very excited to get back into my Aldi and grocery runs. Um, very excited about that. And that will start this weekend. So very exciting stuff. Um, blow me up. It's my sister's, um. So I need to tidy up the living room and I have a lot of laundry to do. So probably going to do that. Um, I did absolutely no laundry while we were home. I washed a few things, but they are sitting clean in baskets. So I need to decide on dinner. We have crispy Caesar chicken, um, zesty Mexican spice steak bowls, um, bacon and cream supreme spaghetti, loaded baked potato soup, some apricot ponzu chicken, and then another Alfredo style like spaghetti. Um, I really want this chicken. Yeah, we're gonna have the chicken.
Okay, whoops. Okay, so this is what we have going on right now. It is, I can turn this, no I can't. It is 6.40, Lucas should be home any minute now. Um, the chicken is finishing up in the oven. I think I said I ended up going with the um, Caesar chicken. Caesar crusted chicken. I don't know. Um, and then potatoes and green beans. Um, these potato wedges are like amazing. I didn't do, I like really didn't look at the instructions. That's not right. The recipe. And I just, I knew to chop those up and I put some salt and pepper and some Tony's and then it called for some ranch seasoning. So good. Lucas is here. So good. And then the green beans have um, garlic, garlic powder, salt and pepper. And the green beans have garlic, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and I think that's it. And then here is the loaf of bread. It looks so good. I'm so excited. And then the chicken. It should be ready any minute now. So and Lucas just got home. Have resort TV going. And my shoes. You don't want to get these? Well, I was busy. How does the living room look? It's tidy. Is it not tidy? Nope. <laughs> Stop. Throw those away. I know, I need to go through this log basket. Okay, and here is the first look. I'm so excited. I hope they fit. New Balance kind of fit my feet. Oh, look at them. Oh my gosh. Give me just a second. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. I love them. <laughs> I'm try them on. Okay, so I have to get them tied up. Ah. <laughs> Lucas is ready to eat. But they're so cute! I love them! I think, hopefully, if we go back to Disney, when we go back to Disney, not if, when we go back to Disney, yeah, these could be, huh? Pepper. Peppercorns. Hopefully, these will be good Disney shoes when we go back. I'm not sure when that will be. Hello, good evening, and happy Thursday. Um, I have been home for just a, a little bit. It's 516, so I've been home for about 45 minutes. Um, and I finished cleaning up our kitchen. We had dishes piled everywhere. Um, and then cleaned off our stove. So I'm about to hop in the shower, but I wanted to start this evening. Um, I would have started earlier. I was going to do a little time lapse of me doing the dishes, but I was on the phone with Disney almost the entire time. Um, so I have lots and lots of computer work to do on the couch this evening. So, you may get a time lapse of that, or you may get a glimpse into that, or you may not. I really don't know yet, but I do need a shower, and I wanted to show you something really quick um, that came in the mail that I ordered off Amazon. It is this cute little, like, paper cutter, and I, craft punch is what it's called, um, and I'm going to use this to make um, confetti for my clients. So, um, I can't wait to get it out. It is... I was afraid it was going to come in too big, um, and this is literally the perfect size. So, I am going to, um, I feel like I'm about to do something with this. I'm going to hop in the shower, and then we had a sourdough BLTs last night, and we have one piece of bread left. So, we're going to half a sandwich, and I'm probably going to eat some soup. My stomach has been very upset um, the last few days. It may be because of some medicine I'm taking, um, or just the gunk from over the holidays but um that is that i went and did a taco bell run today so that could also be <laughs> why my stomach hurts but um sourdough blts are like one of the main reasons that i make sourdough bread and not even lying um but i need to make some more sourdough dough sometime this week um but <sighs> it feels so nice I wish that I would have gotten them before. You probably would have judged me if I would have gotten them before, but we had dishes everywhere. Um, bacon splatter, like bacon grease had splattered on the stove, um, but it was so late when I got home last night from church. Um, we both just decided just to forget about it until today, so that's what we did. <laughs> 
This is one of the most prestigious appointments in the country. Yes, it's a great commute. That's why I'm considering it. So Dr. Oppenheimer brought your attention to his past associations before you appointed him. Yes. And it didn't Good morning and happy Saturday. So I have been the worst vlogger on the planet this week. Um, I don't know what the deal has been. Hold on. There we go. I do not know what the deal has been. Uh, I think going back to work has been a struggle. Not in like a bad way. Just like trying to figure everything out. Since I really haven't been properly vlogging in weeks. Um, so yesterday, I may have mentioned this in a, another video maybe last week. Or two weeks ago um but we had thought when we got off the friday before christmas that um our work project was over and it was not when we got back to work um how things go um how this project was it was a bunch of different lines where steel and aluminum are processed whatever so everything was being mixed together and so um we were supposed to be getting just aluminum this is a lot more in depth than most of you may care but um so we were supposed to be just getting aluminum this week well they came in mixed with steel and aluminum um and so long story short the project was not over and so um it has not been nearly as intense as before but um we had to finish that up but we finished the project yesterday it is officially 100 percent done so um lucas and i came home and started oppenheimer i fell asleep like an hour in he finished it um and then we got up and made dinner at like nine o'clock just a half of a sourdough blt we had um one two pieces of bread left to make one sandwich and so um we just halved it and it was perfect so um today i am going on our first like real grocery run since the project started um maybe even before the project started so i'm going to aldi today um if you have been a subscriber or have watched any of my videos you know that i love to go to aldi so um today is the day we are doing a huge it is a huge grocery run we are out of a lot of essentials toilet paper paper towels dog food laundry detergent for lucas's clothes vinegar for i use vinegar as um like penny hears me and whatever she is in the cage and she hates to hear me be out here without being with me she's got a little bit of separation anxiety but i need some vinegar as some fabric softener and like stain remover um so it is going to be a very large um and pretty pricey which i'm not ready for um grocery haul and then i have a few things for um travel agency stuff that i have to go grab at walmart and hobby lobby so with that being said let's go i need to turn the tv off i started that this morning um had a few quotes i have been so busy this week with travel agency stuff like a lot busier than i have been obviously since i started but um multiple multiple quotes you know um clients paying off their trips all kinds of stuff so it has been quite a busy week this week on the travel agency front but i wanted to try and show you my outfit um i've got you up on the plant stand that's too tall i've got you up on a plant on the plant stand i feel like that's I have on my Walmart little puffer vest, um, a gray sweatshirt, and then I have on my one one piece onesie um, set, and then the new New Balances. I can't speak today. The new New Balances that I showed you earlier on this week. Um, I will link them down below. They were on sale when I ordered them. Um, I'm obsessed with them. I love them. So I'm going to grab my stuff. We need to do another living room reset. It's not that bad, um, but another living room reset. Um, we have a mountain, a mountain, literally a mountain of um, clothes on our bedroom, on our bed in our bedroom um, that needs to be taken care of today. So may not do a lot of filming out and about. I'm going to try and film a tiktok slash youtube short situation um of the grocery haul today so i'm trying to do both but i'm not that great at it 
So, um, that's the story. Lucas just left. He'll be gone all day. I also have to take, um, our friend that has, there we go. Our friend that has been in the hospital that we visited. I'm trying to, I've got so many things attached to me right now. I've got the camera and then I just attached this. So I'm not the most whatever so um our friend that has been in the hospital came home on thursday so i'm taking him dinner tonight that is another thing that i have to buy um stuff for that so um we have a busy saturday ahead of us but i am excited to get things done get our house cleaned um get all of our laundry done um and i'm feeling very motivated and ready um the first couple days of the new year i was just not feeling it um but yesterday um i got some kind of bug in me and so i'm ready to get things like like cleaned up, organized, decluttered, um, all of that. So I also have my New Year's resolutions, goals, whatever you want to call them, um, that I would love to make a video about and share you with you. I have videos to edit. I just have a lot to do, so I need to get going. Okay, friends, so... Okay, friends, so we are back home. Sorry I did not film. Um, I don't know what I expected on a Saturday at lunchtime, um, but it was insanely busy in every store that I went into. So I'm going to show you the Aldi haul um, and then get everything put up. I need to clean out our refrigerator, um, of course. So I need to get that done. But um, this was probably the most expensive grocery haul that I have had in quite a while um so i spent at aldi 167 dollars and 39 cents and then i went into walmart and spent 33 dollars um but a large part of that was a gift card um and some folders for travel agency clients um the only like the only grocery item that I picked up was bread flour, and that was like $5 after tax, um, so not bad. And then I went, did not, then I went into Hobby Lobby and picked up the last of my client gift, um, and I spent $20 in there. So all in all, not too bad. Um, so I'm going to run you through the food, and then I got a f one goodie um that i saw on tiktok and told myself if i saw it i was getting it so um i stayed pretty well on the list i did get a few things that were not on the list but we did need them so um not mad about it so let's go so um not everything we are having for meals this week will be in here because i'm shopping from our pantry as well um but i'm just gonna go down the list our down the island whatever you want to call it um so i picked up some eggs um aldi has the cheapest and the best eggs um i'm doing some breakfast bowls with some eggs and then um some romaine lettuce and then this um green tastic bread it's kind of like dave's killer bread at a fraction of the cost i'm using these for um tuna salad um i want to do some tuna salad boats but also um, wanted some bread, so we'll see. Um, and then this pizza sauce, the pepperonis, and the pasta is for um, the meal that I'm taking to our friend tonight. The panko breadcrumbs, we are making some copycat HelloFresh meals, and so got those. Um, some sugar for our tea, we ran out. Some cucumbers, um, I think maybe for snack. I don't remember what past Lydia had in mind. I know one is for um, Greek bowls and then another maybe for maybe snack. I don't remember. Bell peppers for Greek bowls, onions because we needed them. Broccoli for the copycat um, to go with the copycat HelloFresh chicken. Um, picked up some mozzarella cheese. It's cheaper to get it um, in the blocks and then just shred it yourself. And it also doesn't have like that powdery stuff that um like bag shredded cheese has um this melts a lot easier than shredded cheese in my opinion so um that's just how we do it i like to shred it and then i picked up a perfect bar it's a little smushed <laughs> to try during the week um they're a little pricey so kind of hoping that i don't like it but um i didn't even look at the back i've had one before but it was pretty like warm by the time i ate it and i didn't like love it now that's a lot of calories for 
like the amount of protein so probably won't buy that again it that was an impulse um buy for sure and then um sour cream again i don't remember why i purchased that oops oh that is to go on the chicken okay there we go lydia's remembering um and then some chicken breast for greek bowls and our um chicken and then back on my blackberries if you know you know i love blackberries and this time of year is my favorite so i got a um clamshell for every day and then some strawberries some greek yogurt that i'm going to try and mix some um, protein powder in and maybe do um a protein like yogurt bowl situation with some of the fruit we were out of butter um i picked up two packs of these um to have as a snack i was going to get chopsticks um but they didn't have the um flavor that i like i like the traditional beef and so um i thought this might be a little bit better it has a little bit of cheese and some of those sticks and it was um, a million times cheaper <laughs> um and then lucas has really been loving he used a whole like container thing of mio while we were on our break so this is not the name brand but i think it'll be good enough um both of these were still cheaper than the one at um aldi so um some bacon we're gonna do sourdough bale teas again this week and then some sausage to go in my little breakfast bowls um the beef is for that casserole that i'm making um potatoes to go with the copycat chicken and then hash browns to go in the breakfast bowls then as we come around i picked up just some sandwich bags because we were out um some laundry detergent for Lucas's work clothes, some vinegar, like I had mentioned, toilet paper, and paper towels. And then for the fun thing, I saw this on TikTok, and I wish that it was black. Um, they were out of the black option, but white is perfectly fine. It is a blanket ladder. So I am going to get this put together and surprise Lucas when he gets home. It was only $20, which I, I don't feel like that's too bad, especially to be at Aldi. Um, and we are wanting to do something different with our blanket situation so i think this works out and then um picked up penny's food so obviously twenty dollars of that was a fun thing and then i had to pick up toilet paper and paper towels that was like another fifteen dollars and then the dog food was another fifteen dollars so to have to restock a lot of stuff i don't think that's that bad in my opinion but whatever had to have it um, and we have not gone grocery shopping in quite a while. And this is also, sure, I'm sure, um, cheaper than the HelloFresh and then going to buy lunches and breakfast. Um, so, it feels so good. felt so good to get into Aldi and really just, like, walk around. Um, I had a really rough morning this morning after I started vlogging this morning. How many times can I say morning? Um, I had a panic attack on the way to Aldi. I don't know. I mean, I know why. Um, it feels really silly, but here we are. I mean, there's nothing I can really do about it. Um, so I was not feeling really excited to get our groceries and all of that, but it ended up being a good day. I needed to get out and like take care of our house, take care of some things on my to-do list. So I feel much, much better now that I'm home. Um, and even just after, you know, running my little errands. So I'm going to get everything put up where it goes instead of, because I'm really bad about leaving toilet paper and paper towels out. So I'm going to get everything put up where it goes. Um, and then I just had a load of laundry finish in the dryer. So I need to move that into the bedroom. And then this is what we're working with <laughs> laundry wise. Embarrassing? Absolutely. 100%. Um, some of it is blankets and pillows and then like hang up clothes. It doesn't really make it any better, but, um, we did get that taken care of. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Not on the shoes. Not on the shoes. You're muddy. So get that taken care of. Okay. So there it is. I love it. Um, that was a struggle to put together. That took me like 35 minutes, like all together to get everything. Whew. That was rough. So that is what our blankets used to be in. Um, obviously, that's not all of our blankets. So we have some blankets right there. Blanket storage in there. Blanket storage in there. Um, but these are the blankets um, that we reach for the most. Other than that very, very large blanket right there. Which 
stays in like that or in there but I think it looks so good and then we may get rid of the basket or it could be there for more blanket storage I don't know we need to declutter the blankets but we have like an emotional connection to all of them so here it is I really love it so here is the pizza casserole this is the recipe that I almost always pull to give to um, I've given it to somebody whose um, husband has passed away, somebody who's had a baby, um, and now somebody who has just gotten home from the hospital. Um, it is super quick, like very little ingredients. It tastes delicious. It freezes well. It reheats well. So um, I'm just waiting on Lucas to get home. Once we get to his house, we're going to pop it in the oven so the cheese gets all brown and melty. Um, and he, um, the meal train that I set up has people visiting and taking him food three days a week um so he may have food and not need this so i'm gonna you know wait to put it in there to brown the cheese just in case he's gonna put it in the freezer um so it'll be a little bit fresher and taste a little bit better than the cheese being reheated over and over and over again but um this as always take i t did a little taste test before i put everything together um and it tastes fantastic i prefer to do mini pepperonis but aldi did not have any mini pepperonis i like to mix um the mini pepperonis with the pasta sauce and meat mixture i did cut up some of the big pepperonis to put in with that meat mixture um and then obviously put it on top so i'm gonna um get the top put on this and then try and tackle the mountain of dishes that we have going on right here um it's not that bad we have some big items down in the bottom um that just i say this every single time i show you our sink um it literally takes me like 10 minutes to get through because it's really not that much stuff it's just we have a very very shallow sink so i'm gonna get to cleaning that hopefully um, I can get finished by the time Lucas gets home, and then we can head off. Okay, so we have made it back home, and I just finished dinner. Um, this is a HelloFresh meal. It was the bacon and cream supreme spaghetti, but the bread, the, yes, bacon and cream supreme spaghetti with broccoli. The broccoli did not look too hot, so, um, no vegetable with dinner tonight, unfortunately, um, but I did, that, there was no saving that broccoli, so. We're going to eat these and hopefully play um, our game in just a little bit. I'm going to get a Pepsi, a Diet Pepsi out of the fridge. And Lucas has some Gatorade. Um, so we're going to enjoy this. Good morning. Happy Sunday. So it is not good morning. It's good afternoon. It's like 1 o'clock now. Um, we have gone to church. We're home. Ignore that. <laughs> we have gone to church. We went to lunch. Um, all of my siblings, spouses, whatever. We all went to lunch. And then came back home so um lucas is taking a nap and i'm about to get to cleaning the house so <laughs> um obviously i have those clean clothes to hang up and then mountains of laundry and then just other things i want to take care of but i wanted to show you my outfit really quick because i really love it i think i think it's really cute you may not like it that's fine um but i thought it was really cute i tried to pick something out that matched my new new balance because I'm just obsessed with them so let me show you that I'm going to end the vlog and um get to cleaning and being productive so here's the outfit our mirror is really dirty it needs to be cleaned um I thrifted this last weekend um I don't even know what brand it is I don't know how to describe it but it's like this dark gray like little jacket um, or black, maybe. Um, but very cute. And then just this, like, peplum, maybe not peplum, baby doll t-shirt. I don't know. My favorite Walmart jeans. And then my new shoes. So, I thought it was a little serve. Very cute. I love it. And then, of course, Foster Rings. Let me get this off my wrist. Foster Rings. That's not a foster ring. But these, other than my wedding ring, but those are some foster rings. Um, one day I would love to do some kind of brand deal with her. I love her. 
as a person. Um, and I love her rings. She's just so cute. She has a Dotson. Um, I don't remember. Rosie, maybe? Very cute, but... I hope you guys have a great rest of your day since you watched this in just a day. Um, and I hope that whatever day you watch it, I hope you have a great week, great rest of your week, great weekend, whatever. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.